Good morning, everyone, and welcome to King Craft Studios. My name is Julie Coleman, and I am I'm co-president here with my friend Kathy Carr. We are a nonprofit art guild comprised of many different art and craft mediums. Some of these examples can be seen around the room. We are a membership-based organization, and one can belong to as many groups as your time permits. We enjoy meeting here with each other and have fun creating our own personal works of art. Sure beats cleaning the house. King Cross was established by Lady Flavelle in 1950. That's right, we have been in King City for over 60 years. She also felt that it was important to give back to the community, so she established a scholarship fund, which is juried by Craft Ontario and is awarded to an artisan to help promote their craft. To help pay our bills, as we own this building, we have several sales during the year. Our largest sale is the last two weekends in November, which, in which the house is filled with our members' quality controlled artwork. You can check out our website, which is currently being updated, to get more information about this organization. It really is a terrific place to meet and no experience is required. We all help out each other and we welcome new members. Enough about us. I'm sure we are all looking forward to this Power of Attorney seminar. I would like to introduce to you Mary Bart and to thank her for all of her hard work in organizing this very important topic. Thank you. Thank you, Julie, and good morning to everybody. And thank you for joining us on a Saturday morning in the middle of winter to learn about Power of Attorney projects. My name is Mary Bart, and I am Chair of Caregiving Matters. Today, I would also like to welcome people who are, are joining us from across the country who are at homes watching us on their commuter, computers with our live webinar. I would also like to thank our speakers who will be with us throughout the day for sharing their wisdom with us. I would especially like to thank the volunteers who are helping us with this project today and throughout uh, the two-year technology-based project that we're doing, especially bringing seniors and isolated seniors out to our rural, commu our rural community here in King City and finally to our amazing crew who are doing all the technical things that lets us reach many across the country. Just a little bit about who we are at Caregiving Matters. We are a registered internet-based charity, uh, a Canadian charity. We were founded in 2008. I am the founder of this charity. Um, what we do is offer education and support to family caregivers. 90% of what we do leverages technologies, 10% produces local events that are educational. So we leverage technologies in everything that we do, and that ensures greater reach and sustainability. So I encourage you to drop by our website to see our programs and services and uh, partake in what we do at Caregiving Matters. A little bit about our project that I'd like to tell you about. It is called the Power of Attorney Project. It is a two-year technology-based project that is an intergenerational effort to teach adult children and older adults around many of the issues of power of attorney. We have legal, financial, and social services experts from across the country sharing their wisdom and years of experience in dealing with these issues. So we have lawyers, we have accountants, we have nurses, palliative care doctors, funeral directors, a wide range of people who touch this topic. So they all have different perspectives and different insights that we can learn from. And really our goal with this project is to have families and individuals start talking about this topic. It's a hard topic. And we really want to say to people, listen to what we have to say, listen to these experts, take something from each one of the uh, marketing materials that we produce and the events, and then really go back to your local communities, find an expert, find a lawyer, find an accountant, and say, you know what, here's where my family's at. 
could you give us some insight? Could you share what's going on and, and guide us through this whole journey of power of attorney? And really, at the end of the day, we want families to have greater skills and competencies as we deal with this difficult part of aging. So a little bit more about our project. It is not intended to be a substitute for seeking personalized legal, financial, or other advice. We offer general information only. And as I said, we really encourage people to start with our project, go back to your communities, find a lawyer, phone up the lawyer and say, you know what, I think it's time we have that conversation or explain to me these documents just a little bit more. And it's interesting, every part of Canada, every province is called a jurisdiction and each one has its own laws around power of attorney. So imagine how families who live across the country deal with that issue. So you might live in Alberta, but your mom and dad live in Quebec. There's different laws. And so what we're saying is not only know the laws where you live, but where your family lives, because there are some differences across the country. And really, it's a supported call to action for people who have the courage and have the guts to say, you know what, it's time my family sat down, worked through some of these ideas, worked through what my wishes are, and have a plan and have greater peace of mind. I'd also like to thank our initial project uh, supporters. The first one is the federal government. Their new Horizons for Seniors program is partially funding this project. Our other supporters are Scotia Trust, the Care Guide, the Healing Cycle Foundation, and Care Connect. So together we are putting on this project and without their help and support, we wouldn't be here today doing this project. A little bit of housekeeping. As you can see, we have a lot of equipment here in the room, so we are filming today. We are making videos that will later be seen on our website, and this is also being done live, so there's more technology around that. So I ask people to turn off your cell phones, and if you have any gum or candy wrappers that you have a great desire to have, open them now, please. <laughs> <laughs> because um, that would be respectful and we would appreciate it. The bathrooms are downstairs and if you're leaving throughout the presentations we ask you to go out the side door. I'd like to just cover off briefly what the agenda is and as best we can we will stick to the agenda. Our first speaker will be, e will be Elaine Blades and she is Director of Fiduciary Products and Services at Scotia Trust. Our next one will be Detective Sergeant Leslie Raymond, and she is with the Ontario Provincial Police, and she will speak to um, how they investigate these issues. The next one is Dr. Sandra Campbell, and she's going to talk about the attitudes, the attitudes within families and how we deal with this topic. After lunch, we have a very short lunch break, 30 minutes. After lunch, we have a registered nurse, Jo McDonald, and she's going to talk about some of the care issues that she sees in her day-to-day um, -day life when families are dealing with uh, power of attorney issues. It could be somebody who has had a stroke or uh, dementia or Alzheimer's, so she will bring the care perspective. She will also talk about the costs of care, and that's important too. The next one is Scott Dalton, and he's going to talk about how to avoid a state litigation. And that is apparently, according to the lawyers with whom I speak, is a growing area of their business. The last two presenters of the day are both lawyers. One is a local lawyer here, Margaret Black, and she um, has her practice here in King City. So she's going to speak about some of the procedural elements of power of attorney. And our final speaker is Mark Handelman, and um, he will speak to some of the issues around end-of-life issues. So we have an action-packed day, a diverse group of experts who, by the end of the day, will give you a broad perspective on what we are doing. The other part that's interesting of this project is it's a two-year project, and throughout the two years, we are creating podcasts and what that means is we are doing taped telephone interviews 
with experts across the country. So we are interviewing doctors and lawyers, social workers, all kinds of people who come to this with their perspective. We release them on the 1st and the 15th of each month. And so by the time May of 2016 comes by, we will have at least 40 of these podcasts from various people across the country. So I encourage you to go to our site. We have about 12 up there now, and we release them on the 1st and the 15th. And for those listening across the country, and if you think you would like to contribute some of your expertise, you might be a lawyer or an accountant watching this, please get in touch with me. We would like to have a broad perspective from as many experts as possible. And so without further ado, I say thank you for joining us. Welcome, everybody. And I will turn it over to our first presenter.